Hello humans, welcome back to The Nora Show. I've been working on getting this green silk to lead episode up for weeks now, and I have finally edited it. Links to dye and silk are in the description. Please give this video a like and a share, and of course, please subscribe. Let's talk about silk dyeing and a few random conclusions I have come to. First, if you are wanting to use multiple colors, go with colors that, if they touch, you are going to like that those two colors are mixing. Basically, just like with fantasy hair dyeing, if you don't want muddy brown colors or weird bad hues in your hair or silk, and you are deeply lazy and doing everything all at once, and you know that the colors are going to touch and blend, keep it all in the same family, such as, in this case, all green. Green mixing with green is going to be fine, regardless of me not having enough experience to simply know what the dye is going to do or how it is going to be absorbed or travel. Second, Burnout Velvet shows off the dimensions of color within each hue in a way that solid silk pieces do not. Burnout Velvet is wildly fun to dye. I highly suggest this experience. What I found is that when it would hit the, da, uh, the, the, the raised parts versus the burned out sections, you would end up seeing a different absorption of different parts of the hues. So you ended up with uh, uh, the same color, but it shows up different depending on what part of the material that it is on. Fascinating, wild, deeply love the results. Third, PVC pipe frame is awesome, totally works, is cheap, very accessible. But make sure that you permanently attach the joint so that the frame doesn't collapse on you with the wet fabric when you try to move it outside so that it stops dyeing your floor. Fourth, screen printing is so weird. It's either perfect or it's not. As of right now, my results seem random to me and I currently have no idea what I'm doing right or wrong. Regardless, all of my results have been able to be hand corrected with a paintbrush after the fact. I very much want to start getting the edges consistently crisp on all lettering. I still am unsure exactly what it is that I am doing to make that happen. As soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know. I am now going to speed up a complete sewing of a grommet. You can either look this up as a embroidery eyelet or a hand bound buttonhole. The idea is very simple. It is a buttonhole stitch, but it's in the round. Don't cut a hole, just use a dowel to simply uh, pierce the fabric and then scoot things apart. I found it very helpful to re-pierce the fabric with the dowel periodically throughout the sewing. Make sure that you pull your knots where you want to have them lay and then pull tight. This is a specific placement of lines and knots and the more even you get this, the better it looks. <laughs> 